Hi, this is Shri. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see what is bicep, why this was introduced, then we will build a bicep template and we will deploy it through Azure DevOps pipeline. Before we begin, if you are new here and if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and help me grow this channel. Let's start now. Bicep is a transpiler that converts bicep language into ARM templates. Bicep language is a new one here. Don't worry about it. We will get there in a sec. Before that, let's take a step back and understand why bicep template was introduced. Let's take a quick look at the current ARM template. The current ARM template is not human readable and it is hard to learn. It is in JSON structure. JSON at fundamental level designed for machine communication. It is not actually intended for humans to read or write. As file grows large, it adds extra noise with multiple levels of brackets. Microsoft wants to simplify this and ensure there is only one path to deploy an Azure. But Azure Resource Manager is huge and it has APIs for every service in Azure that works with JSON ARM template. So instead of making changes to Azure Resource Manager, Microsoft has introduced new language called Bicep and built a transpiler that converts Bicep language into ARM template. So Bicep is a transpiler that converts new Bicep language into ARM template. If you were to write this whole thing in Bicep template, it looks like this. Very concise and more compact, very easy to read. It supports modularity and code reusability. Most importantly, it has greater intelligence. You want to identify all possible errors before you compile. This is very crucial for productivity. Now, let's see this in action. We will write a simple bicep template for Azure functions. First, you need bicep tools. If you want to use Visual Studio code, get this bicep extension. This bicep extension has all the bicep language features. I will be using Visual Studio code for demonstration purpose. This is if you want to use Visual Studio and if you have Azure CLI, that's enough because when you use bicep commands with Azure CLI, it automatically installs the bicep CLI. That's all we need. Now let's bring up our Visual Studio code. Let's add a bicep file as a function dot bicep because we will be creating an Azure function using the bicep template. As soon as you have the file extension here, it recognized it as a bicep template because we have the extension installed already, bicep extension. If you don't, just get this extension. To create an Azure function, first let's create a storage account because Azure function requires a storage account. To create a storage account, first let's declare a variable for the storage account name. Storage account name equal to str Azure function. Let's create a storage account resource now. To create a storage account resource, resource, resource name, storage account, and API will be Microsoft storage and storage accounts. Let's use the latest APIs. And this is an object. If you see here, you have the error. And if you hover on it, it says there are required properties we have to define these required properties for the storage account. The first one is name for which we have a variable storage account name. And the next one is location for location as well. We will take, we'll create a parameter for location. I will talk more about parameters in a while. Location string and resource group dot location. Here resource group again is a function which gives you the resource group of current context location and the next one is most importantly we want sku sku is an object name so as soon as you give the name it has come up with all the intelligence we will choose the lrs should be okay for demo purpose and the kind the last one kind is storage that is to create a storage account pretty simple pretty concise pretty compact you just give the required properties in this structure. Similarly, let's create hosting plan. I'm doing some copy pasting here. For hosting plan name, let's use parameter. Again, I'm just copy pasting this one. We have the hosting plan. Next, I'm copy pasting the application insights as well. This is application insights. 
we have application insights name and application insights and these are the properties location kind and the other properties finally we'll create an azure function resource and this is the azure function resource we have the function app name i just want to use the function app name as well as a parameter this will be our function app name then it has everything that is required if you see the server form id here we simply did hosting plan dad id and hosting plan is a resource which we created on the top hosting plan of type server form so if you do dot it will give you the all properties that are associated with the hosting plan and similarly application insights we have created application insights resource you can access it like application insights dot properties dot instrumentation key so this is pretty much an bicep template to deploy azure function very concise very compact very clean and neat even we can introduce modularity into it and make it reusable i'm not using modularity here i'm not going into details of it now let's build this bicep template if you look at the generated arm template if you see here the variables which we define are part of the variables and the parameters which we define are part of the parameters in a way the parameters are our arm template parameters and the variables are arm template variables pretty much this is the bicep template equivalent now let's deploy this bicep template using azure cli command to deploy it using azure cli command let's connect to azure first login the login is successful and the context is set to my current subscription that's all done now it can directly connect to the specific resource group i have already created a resource group it can easily connect to that resource group and deploy the resources in it let's deploy the resources now az deployment group resource group my resource group name is arch az function and the file name is yep, az function bicep and the parameters for the parameters what we can do is you can simply go to bicep and right click and you can do generate parameter file it will generate the parameter file now let's go to bicep here our terminal now let's do one more time let's choose parameter.json and if you go to parameter.json let's give the names az function app az function app hosting plan save it go to bicep template now let's validate this one to validate this one the command is minus c which will validate that it's validating now it will kind of do a comparison between current template versus what was already deployed in azure and it will come back with whether it's going to create or modify the resources in our case if you see it's like four to create all the four resources are new resources they do not exist in the current resource group that's why it came up as create now to deploy these resources it will be simply you are asked yes or no you if you just give yes it will deploy these resources straight away it has created all the resources from the arm template if i go here do a quick refresh you can see all our resources have been created let's deploy the same bicep template via azure devops pipeline to deploy it through azure devops pipeline first we need to add our source code to azure devops git repo i'm in my azure devops and i have already added source code to my devops kit so the first thing we need here is service connection the devops will use this service connection to connect to azure resources to create a service connection go to project settings service connections click on new service connection select it as azure resource manager next service principle automatic recommended keep that as default click next yep the scope is at subscription level it will load all the subscription associated with this specific account it will bring up a pop-up to authenticate to azure just provide your azure credentials here once authentication is successful you can see it will load up with subscriptions and resource group and you can give a service connection name and just a description and click on save that will create a service connection so basically what we are doing here is we are creating a service principle inside our azure active directory which can access the subscription and resource group to manage the resources i have already created a service connection so i'm just skipping this step now go back to our git repo we have the bicep file 
and we have the parameter.json file. Let's deploy these bicep template using DevOps pipeline. For that, create a pipeline, create a YAML file. I have already created a YAML file. I will go over this YAML file very quickly. This will trigger the pipeline every time you do a check-in. Demo purpose, I don't need it. Simply, I set it as none. The next one is pool. Ubuntu latest is okay. Just keep it as a default. Next, I created three stages. Stages, stage lint, stage validate, stage deploy. We will go over each stage. So the first stage is lint. I named it as a lint. And the job is lint code. And it is just executing Azure CLI script command, which is simply az bicep build file name. What it will do is it will run this command. So this command will generate an equivalent ARM template for given bicep template. It can generate the ARM template only when bicep template is valid. Okay, the second one is validate stage. The validate stage, what we're going to do is we're going to simply validate our deployment. I have named this job as validate bicep code. And here the task is I'm using Azure CLI task and I'm executing this Azure CLI command to make sure the bicep template is valid or not. To show you how to create this task simply, if I can go to the pipeline, just I'll simply edit my current pipeline. You can always have, you can always choose the task from here. Azure CLI task, you just choose the task and you provide your service connection name and script type. In our case, it's a batch, then script path, then it's an inline script and you provide the inline script here. And there are no script arguments for us, just click on add. Wherever you place the cursor, it's going to add this specific line. And the command in our case is az deploy group validate resource group. Resource group name is a variable here. I will show you this variable quickly if you go to the variables. So the resource group is rg-az-function. This is the resource group name. So pretty much this is validate. And similarly, we have the final stage, which is deploy stage. Again, the deploy stage is also Azure CLI task which will use the service connection and execute this inline script which is az deployment group create and these are build functions by the way and the resource group name file we are just deploying this specific file using this parameter pretty much this is a pipeline that i have created i will share my git repo link you can get all the source code from there before i run this we'll quickly check if my if our resource group rg az function is clear okay if i go to my resource group it is empty all good let's go to the pipelines let let's run this pipeline run the pipeline and okay it's not targeted on the main that's why you are seeing this error just ignore that for now just click on dev and click on run we can see three stages the first stage is lint it is running the lint i can quickly open and show you the logs while it runs the link stage is successful then it will move to validating bicep code so it's running validate bicep code now it's running pre-flight validation it's gonna execute that specific command so the pre-flight validation is also completed okay the deployment is successful it's just finalizing the job but if i go back and hit a refresh i should be able to see our Azure resources here okay we have um, application insights app service plan azure function and storage for code. that's it for this video if you like the content please subscribe share like and comment i'll catch you in the next video until then this is shri signing off thank you